Hello Aquarius, thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann. Uh, website on the back here, uh, the bottom of that gray box with Chris Ann's picture is chris ann with an e.com or the Muse Tarot.com. Feel free to check anything out there that you want, of course. Supportive Oracle cards are Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle cards. Hopefully that focuses. By Colette Baron Reed. Uh, websites, uh, you can see Chris Ann's picture next to that paragraph. It's at the bottom of that paragraph. You can find her website, Chris, I uh, mean, Colette Baron Reed.com. And there's a couple other websites at the bottom if you want to freeze frame and check those out. I thought this was interesting, so I added this in. Uh, about the illustrator, Jenna. There's information about that person. If you want to freeze frame and read through that, feel free to. At the bottom here are a few websites. Feel free to check those out if you are so interested as well. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius? I kept getting this uh, feeling like Aquarius, if you need to say something, you will say something, and I get that. Uh, you're not afraid to, but the thing is, I don't think of Aquarius as cruel. I don't know why that's coming in, but maybe some people do. Um, you could say things on your terms, and that's always a thing. If you're annoyed, I feel like when Aquarius is annoyed, it's annoyed, it's very obvious to other people. But you have the ability to change your tone or to get along with people, people or not to get along with people. Uh, Aquarius is that sign that like you can relate to whoever you want to on their terms if you so choose, but you also can not if you choose not to. Um, I don't think of Aquarius as having a hard time understanding other signs. I do see Aquarius as, though, getting kind of annoyed with certain ones for not advancing with a conversation. I don't know why that's coming out, but we'll just set the tone with that and keep going. Um, yeah, somebody's trying to control the conversation figures. <laughs> okay, I'm getting two different cards here of somebody else trying to control the conversation. It's coming up in the environment. Somebody who likes you, who wants what they want, but they want control, and they're trying to control a conversation. That's, that's, um, <laughs> when you want to talk about something, you're, you're not going to tolerate that. If you're like, we're not, I just feel like if, if, if somebody's trying to control a conversation or trying to shut down information, and especially if it's in the realm of manipulation, I just, that's not going to fly for Aquarius. And I feel like you're coming to this wall, and for a lot of you, this could be a work thing, where you know somebody's playing BS. They're controlling a conversation, they're controlling information, and the way they're controlling it, it's leading to false outcomes, or is it better to say false expectations for other people? You hear what they're saying, you know where things are going, and it's funny, I have a couple placements of air signs in my chart, and I feel like, uh, especially when I was younger, in my 20s and even 30s, you would hear people in management start talking about a conversation, and you know they were BSing, or you know they were just running around the circle, and they weren't going to actually answer questions. And it used to be frustrating for me, like, why are we even bothering with this meeting when you're clearly not going to even answer questions? You're just trying to pacify people as if, oh, we had a meeting about that, even though you answered nothing. Um... For me, that was frustrating, but I'm starting to realize other people, would they would get sucked right into it. They'd feel like their questions were at least addressed. Like, I don't know why. I don't understand why um, people just acknowledging that you have a question is good enough. If you can't get an answer, what's the point? That's my opinion, but what do I know? Um, I just find that very... I just don't see. Like, don't show up and tell me that you're acknowledging that I have a question. I need an answer. If you don't have one, don't bother showing up. That's just my opinion. And maybe that kind of fits in here with Aquarius. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Um, because it feels like somebody's playing games here. There's no questions being answered, but we're going through the whole rigmarole, acting like we're at least trying to answer questions, and they're never answering anything. Um, I'm feeling that energy here. It's like coming from the past. I used to, I used to drive me nuts. I don't understand having a meeting when we're not going to actually answer any questions. Like, I don't need you to acknowledge that we have them. We need actual answers. Otherwise... Why are we doing that? I don't know why it's, it's like burning my biscuit right now. Um, 
you have already found your answers, by the way. So whatever this subject is, it's kind of like you've already found your answers. But for some reason, you might have, you can't bring them forward. It may be because the people who gave you these answers will be bent out of shape and won't give you more answers in the future if you, they get bent out of shape. It may also be like if you give your answers, it may damage where you're going in the future. Kind of like, well, if I say that I know this, other people are going to go for it too and it's going to make the hill a lot more steeper for me and I'm not going to do that. And There's other people I want in these positions, so all right. But still, it's like I'm not a fan of the whole wasting time thing. It seems to me like a waste of time if we're not going to really give answers. Now, you're going to need to move forward quickly because I feel like you're going to learn something new. Through the situation, even though there's literally no answers being given, given to other people, you're going to glean some information by the questions asked and the way those, those answers are avoided. That is definitely an Aquarius thing. Aquarius reads between the lines like nobody's business. You can see the answers. Even if somebody's trying to hide it, you can tell like, oh, that was a sensitive spot. That's interesting. Maybe there's something more to find there. And you'll keep listening. Um, you can also, again, by what questions somebody asks, you're like, oh, so that's what you're asking. Like if, if for example, I live um, in, in the United States, if I start asking questions about Japan and like what it's like to live in Japan, why am I asking those questions? You know, not for nothing. That type of thing. Um, there's something. You're getting more information and you're going to move. I feel like you're going to move quickly with it. That's why I'm getting the two of wands, the two of inspirations, the two of fire. I think that's showing up on camera. It looks like it's a complete white blank when I'm looking in the viewfinder. Um, as this comes forward, be aware that whoever this person is that wants control, you'll get around them. The, the challenge is to not make an enemy. I'm sure you're not surprised that you're going to get around them. Because um, I see you getting around them. You're moving right around this energy. Uh, bring some people with you. I think that's like the edit that maybe you're not planning on. Bring some people with you, whatever that means for you. So if you're going to advance in a situation, bring them, advance a couple people with you. If you're literally physically going somewhere, physically bring some people with you. Um, one of the two, I feel like this is what I'm getting like, this goes so much better for you. It's kind of like, it's the difference between like showing up for $100 and just getting that $100 versus showing up for $100 and getting 1000 You bring people with you, you get 1000 That's the difference I'm getting with that. So if you want to do it on your own, You'll show up, you're expecting 100, you're going to get 100. No big deal. You bring people with you, you're showing up, you're expecting 100, you're getting 1,000. Would you not rather 1,000? I mean, if you, do, if, you, if you don't, then you don't. There's the information. You do what you need to. Um, because by bringing other people with you, you're going to, it's ugh, this person. Somebody's trying, somebody's going to get bent out of shape, and they might target you later. I know it says the Arrow Master. I don't, I'm feeling like somebody might target you later. Basically because you got around their bullshit. And they're just bent out of shape that you could do that. Mind you, the fact that you did is one thing. And the fact that you can is another. <laughs> um, if you bring people with you, it might scattershot it. And they may not figure it out exactly who understood what. That helps. That's helpful. Because some there's an energy here that's going to stay. Like somebody's holding a grudge is what I keep getting. This is not a bad card, but it's all about how the cards play against each other, not for nothing, like in any situation. Um, this energy is not your friend and will not let go. If there's more of a scatter shot, I do feel like it's easier for you to move, for, move forward and move around this information later, or this person later. Instead of this one person always targeting just you, there might be more people there that they keep, they're like confused about who actually did what. It makes your life easier, and it makes things more advantageous for you later. Um, there's a lot going on here. The people who you bring with you... Okay, because I was like, what is this? They're going to look out for you. I don't th see these people forgetting that you helped them. Um... I'm also I'm like getting the justice like being looked out for. I'm getting that nine of cups. Ironically, as somebody that still is like, they're 
they're, they don't need to be in your way, but the fact that you got around them, they can't get over it. They're very successful on their own. They don't need to do this, but they, somebody might be holding a grudge. Because I'm also, this is what's backing it up. The Shadow Queen, which is neither a good nor bad card in my opinion. But it's kind of like somebody has the ability to do really good things that might be using their abilities to just be a pain in your butt. We don't need that. Um, I keep getting this energy of like somebody who won't let go. It has really been at a shape that you got around them and you got the better of them. Bring people with you. I'm just saying bring people with you because whoever this is, they cannot get over it. These the not letting go energy of the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, like this isn't fair and they just can't, they just, they don't care if they win. They just want to make sure you realize you didn't get the better of them. It may be one of those things. So it's kind of like, it's not like, when I get the Five of Swords, it's a fruitless win. It's kind of like somebody who wins the kingdom, but by the time they win the kingdom, it's just uh, a mountain of rubble. So like, technically they won, but what did they win? They won a, they won a trash heap. What's the point? This is somebody who won't let go, and they just want to get the better of you the way they feel like you got the better of them. It's a fruitless game. It's not worth it. And they won't be able to let it go. The Hungry Ghost is telling me this is something they just can't seem to let go of. They just won't let go of it, and it's just, they just won't let go of it. So if you bring a bunch of people with you, it doesn't have to be as much of a problem. But it's monotonous, and this is somebody who just literally can't let go. I don't know, like, you know how I seem to not let go of constantly saying that? Similar to that. Um, bring people with you. Bring people with you. Whatever it's physical or, like, how emotional, whatever it is, bring others with you. It just, it, that's not such an issue later. It's like instead of it being on level 10, like 1 to 10, it'll be a level 4, maybe 3, which you can, you can, can you stand up to a level 10? Yes, but do you want to? Do you need, do you want to waste that energy on somebody like that? Your business. If you want to, that's your business. I'm just, it's just information for you to do with what you decide you need to do. Anything else? All right, I think we're there. I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If, if you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email, if I can spit it out. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.